there's a reunion of sorts at the Museum of Modern Art here in New York. Individual works of art pictured in one iconic painting by Henri Matisse have been brought together after spending a century apart. With Rita Braver, we're off to the Red Studio. It is one of the landmark paintings of the early 20th century. Henri Matisse's The Red Studio, his depiction of his workroom, filled with paintings and sculptures, even a plate, all of his own making. He's sharing his world with you. He's inviting you into his private space. How long did you work on it? And curator Ann Temkin of New York's Museum of Modern Art is taking us into a remarkable new exhibit. Your eye is drawn to this. It's powerful. It is really it's powerful. For the first time since Matisse created the Red Studio, almost all the works depicted in the painting have been reunited. This painting here on yes. the top yeah. looks kind of like a small painting, but that's it over there, isn't it? Yes. It's called Le Lux too, French word for luxury, and it's kind of a utopian scene of these figures kind of relaxing. Is that a sort of a portrait over there, would you say? Yes, it's called The Young Sailor too, and it was made of a young fisherman. So if you look at this painting, that young sailor has no eyes or mouth, whereas in the painting, the eyes and mouth are incredible. What he's done is a little bit softened the presence of the young sailor in this picture so it doesn't dominate, it kind of harmonizes with the others. Today, Henri Matisse is considered a trailblazer in the development of modern art. But in 1911, when he created this painting in his newly constructed studio just outside Paris in Issy les Moulineaux, his work was not universally praised, not even within the art community, was it? It's almost impossible for us 100 years later to wrap our heads around how reviled and disparaged an artist like Matisse was when he was 40 years old. In fact, the Red Studio was commissioned by a wealthy Russian, Sergei Shukin, who did collect other Matisse works. But when he saw it... He did not understand what was this flat picture, what were these elements that didn't seem to have background or foreground, and he rejected the painting. Still only Matisse believed in the work, showing it with no sale at several exhibits, including the famed New York Armory show of 1913. It was finally purchased in 1927 for a London nightclub, and then ended up in New York where MoMA bought it some two decades later. It was $29,000 at the time, which is more than 10 times that in today's money. And how much would it be worth today? Priceless today. You'd Priceless. never sell it. <laughs> and not an issue. <laughs> As analysis in the museum's lab illustrates, Red Studio was not always red. Layers of an earlier version with orange, pink, and blue sections can be seen underneath, applied before Matisse decided to overlay everything with red. Did he do it impulsively? Was it something he sort of really struggled with over a couple of weeks first? But the thing is, once he did it, there was no going back. Tracking down all these works took almost four years. This one of a cyclamen plant is owned by a private collector and hasn't been seen in public since 1965. Is this one of the paintings that was difficult or easy to persuade the owner to loan to the show? We were very fortunate. There was agreement right away. I mean, with this exhibition, if we had had one no, the whole concept would have fallen apart. We're just so grateful to everybody who, you know, came aboard. I'm gonna ask you sort of a devil's advocate question. I think some people may hear about this exhibit and say, oh, it's just a stunt. Yeah, come see, come see.